Hello and welcome to the Drawing London series. I am Callum and in this video I'm going to be drawing the Queen's House in Greenwich along with appropriate musical accompaniment. The Queen's House was designed by architect Inigo Jones and built during the years 1616 and 1635 by original commission to the Queen Consort Anne of Denmark. Now bear with me here as there's quite a fair bit of important history. Whilst it may seem beautifully discreet amidst the labyrinth of different architecture within London today, the Queen's House was actually a quite unique and certainly revolutionary building during its time. Inigo Jones spent some time studying the buildings of the Italian Renaissance before coming back to the UK and designing this building. Along with him he brought Palladio's rulebook, Strict Classicism, the likes of which Britain had never seen up until this point. Whilst Jones had little influence during his own lifetime, his work certainly set the foundation stones for many classically inspired British buildings for some time thereafter. One need only look a matter of mere metres to this building's north to see Sir Christopher Wren at work with the Greenwich Hospital, now called the Old Royal Naval College, and to the south of the Queen's House we can see Wren at work again with the Royal Observatory. However, I shan't delve too deeply into the role of Christopher Wren on London's architecture for fear of treading on the toes of my inevitable future video on St Paul's Cathedral. Music for this video is the Toccata from Claudio Monteverdi's L'Orfeo, written in 1607 and one of the very first operas. You might be surprised not to be hearing Mozart or another classical composer after I've gone on about the classicism of the Queen's House. However, this is quite deliberate. In architecture, the classical period goes back very, very far, originally the buildings of the ancient Romans and the ancient Greeks, whereas in music, the classical period is actually much later, aligning loosely with the neoclassical period in architecture. That might sound a little bit pedantic, but it's actually quite significant. In fact, Mozart himself was born almost 150 years later than the Queen's House was built, so would have been entirely inappropriate for this video. What would you like me to draw next? Let me know in the comments, and please do consider subscribing as I continue to explore London's architecture through the mediums of music and drawing. Thank you for watching.